So I did this video last year and I figured I might as well do it again. Guys, Mac OS, I don't know what it is about the software. iOS is like pretty, you know, buggy. iPad OS is extremely stable. And for some reason, every time I've ever updated to Mac OS, I've always had so many issues. And this time around, I actually updated another one of my MacBook Pros that I've had up to Mac OS Big Sur, and I had another issue updating to it, and it didn't break it, but I did have to go and actually, you know, refactor everything inside of it and basically delete everything inside of it, which is insane. And I'm so happy it wasn't my personal machine, because if it was, I probably would have cried and I probably would have just stopped making videos. <laughs> but this is a pretty big deal in my opinion, and again, last year I had the same issue, and I think the year before I updated the first time to my Mac OS Beta, and I had the same issue there. So what I can tell you is, is that first of all, with macOS Big Sur, I think, you know, it's a good update, you know, it brings a lot of cool features and stuff. But first of all, my experience with it, using it as an everyday machine, first of all, I haven't been, I'm going to get that out of the way. But second of all, I've installed it on a lot of these other machines that I've owned. And I can tell you, it's not like an extremely smooth experience. Even on something like this, I've had a lot of issues with it. And it's not like the worst thing in the world. But if you're somebody who uses a MacBook like every single day for every single task, like it's, you're not going to have an extremely smooth experience. Now, if you're somebody who uses Logic or anybody who uses Final Cut Pro, you're probably going to be finding a lot of issues with your hardware as well. And I will tell you, if you own a Mac Pro or any of the newest MacBooks, I would recommend staying on the current version you're at until about like February at least, you know, because then Apple will go ahead and fix up a lot of the problems. If you go and update to Mac OS Big Sur, you expect to have quite a bit of issues, expect to have, you know, bugs and all those things. And like I said, as far as I know, those two main apps, Logic Pro and Final Cut Pro, for some reason, those are having a lot of issues for a lot of people. Me personally, with Logic Pro, for some reason on one of my MacBooks, it's just like such a buggy mess. And I don't know what it is about it. I just went ahead and kind of played with it a little bit. And I don't know what it is about it. It's very glitchy. I am using it, I think, on a 2014 MacBook Pro, so maybe that's what it is. But still, I mean, it was running fine on macOS Mojave, and I think... Catalina before, but now with macOS Big Sur, it's just having more problems. So I'm going to tell you, I mean, it's a free country, do whatever you want to. But if I had to, you know, offer some idea, I would probably recommend staying away from installing macOS Big Sur on the very first day it came out. If it come, if you know, if you get a MacBook, the new one, and it has macOS Big Sur installed already, then I guess it's okay. There's nothing you can really do about it. But actually going and updating to macOS Big Sur when it officially comes out, I don't really think it's the best idea if I'm being honest. iOS is a little bit different you know, because Apple pushes out a lot more updates. And I feel like with iOS, it's been more stable. I've never really had too many versions of software that's breaked up or, you know, ruined a lot of my devices, usually just one or two. This time, pretty much all the MacBooks that I've installed macOS Big Sur on has had some issues here and there. So that's kind of what I would recommend doing. Again, if I just installed it on one MacBook, I probably wouldn't be making this video, but I've installed it on at least like three or four different MacBooks as of this point, And the experience hasn't been that great. So especially if you own an older MacBook, I would highly recommend staying away from macOS Big Sur if your MacBook is supported. Stay away from it for the time being. You're better off staying on Catalina or Mojave and then eventually going up to macOS Big Sur when it gets a little bit more stable. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly to everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.